Gods Unchained is fighting for a comeback. Despite having some of the highest daily active users and one of the most active content creator communities in all of Web3 Gaming, people love to hate on Gods Unchained. It's become a punching bag that other projects compare themselves to in a favorable way. Gods Unchained? Who cares? Our game is way better. The narrative is way off the reality here. The truth is, Gods Unchained deserves our respect. Gods Unchained is one of the few games in Web3 right now that has really outperformed the others in terms of active players, and they've also built a community that continues to engage heavily with the game, even now while we're deep in an apathetic bear market. It's a fantastic TCG. The balance is spectacular. You can go look at stats on gudex.com. Uh, the art and the lore are consistent and they're very good. And the game design is, in my opinion, just right. It's not too simple and it's not too complicated. The biggest issue for Gods Unchained, unfortunately, is slow development. The last year has been very slow, with only two mini sets released and no major new features, which brings us to Sealed. Sealed mode is one of three bullets in the chamber, so to speak, for Gods Unchained. There are three new updates coming soon that I think have the most potential to bring in new players and juice up the game. These are the only three chances that Gods Unchained is going to have to build momentum over the next 6 to 12 months. Nothing else is really going to matter compared to these three things. They are... Number one, sealed mode. Number two, a new full expansion, like a big expansion of cards. And then number three, a mobile app launch. In my opinion, almost nothing matters apart from these three key moments or these three launches. Everything else is small and relatively unimportant. The team that builds Gods Unchained should be fully focused on these three things. These are the only three things that are likely to drive user onboarding as well as hype within the gaming community for Web3 and with Mobile and Sealed, a chance to reach new users outside of the Web3 bubble. Uh, a, a quick side note in case you don't know this, a lot of y'all will already know this, but Sealed Mode is a limited format where you pay an entry fee. For Gods, it's going to be 15 Gods tokens or about $3 in current God's value, uh, to receive a temporary virtual set of cards, and then you build a deck out of those cards. So you aren't buying the cards as NFTs. Those virtual cards are going to disappear after the draft, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So the point isn't to collect the cards. The point is the novel challenge of building a deck on the fly out of a random limited set of cards, hence the term limited format. There's also some crossing between classes so you can use combinations that aren't possible in constructed mode, as well as the opportunity to just play games that aren't in the usual meta. You're not going up against expensive control decks or against aggro war necessarily. You're going to go up against more of a varied set of decks, at least in theory. Since you use a random set of cards each time, it's very different from Constructed. And yes, you do win NFT booster packs and uh, cosmetics as well as prizes for doing well in this mode. And you win God's tokens. So, the upcoming launch of Sealed Mode on Thursday, September 14th, is going to be a huge deal for Gods Unchained in one of two ways. In the best case, it's going to galvanize the community, creating a major new lane of gameplay experience and content creation as well as allowing for a better entry point for new competitive players who don't have the best cards for constructed yet. Or, and I don't even want to say this, but like, if Sealed flops, it's probably the beginning of the end of hoping for Gods Unchained to reach new heights or whatever. If Sealed is a flop and it doesn't gain traction, then the other two big opportunities for onboarding, which is mobile and the big new card set, are less likely to work. Sealed is like the initial spark that's going to get the fire started. And then mobile and the new cards are going to be like pouring the gasoline on that fire. So if Sealed doesn't get the fire going, then all the gasoline isn't going to do anything. 
uh, in the metaphor. You know, it's not going to, there's just not going to be new players coming in. If it fails, worst case, it's going to create this narrative that Gods Unchained is really unable to get people excited anymore. And that would suck. I am personally quite excited and quite optimistic that Sealed Mode is going to be a lot of fun and that it really is going to be a great way for new players to get in and avoid the budget disadvantage of Constructed Mode. There's also a great chance a lot of old players will come back and try the new format. If all goes well, Sealed will be the beginning of a new era for Gods Unchained, an era of more features, better development, and more frequent content releases. I am very much hoping that this is the case. If Sealed goes badly, then I don't know, maybe games like Axie and Parallel will just eat Gods Unchained's lunch. I hope not. Gods Unchained is a beautiful game and an excellent example of Web3 gaming done right. It deserves to be a part of the Web3 gaming landscape for many years to come. So, what do you think? Will Sealed Mode be a big success? Are you excited? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see y'all in the Sealed Arena on Thursday this week. Looking forward to it. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Flux signing out.